go. It's another day of notes. Um, we're going to move right on along. And we're going to take our next set of notes today. So our next set of notes today are on comparing and ordering decimals. So in your lesson, we learned how to compare decimals today. And then we're going to also kind of get a preview on what it's like to order decimals because you are really going to use a lot of the same skills to compare and order decimals. All right. Comparing is usually um, between two things. And then ordering is when you're putting a bunch of them in order from like things like least to greatest or greatest to least. All right. So um, our notes for the day, 929, comparing and ordering decimals. All right, so your table of contents should say comparing ordering decimals, 929. Let's go ahead and take a tour through our notes. Blank kind of whole number place value, estimation, multiplication with the zeros trick, multiplying two digit by three digit numbers, basic division, order of operations, strip diagrams and unknown values, prime and composite numbers, decimal place value, and then finally, our newest page. So here for our newest page, we're going to put the title, comparing, and ordering decimals. The date, 929. So um, this is just an ampersand. It's like a backwards three with a line through it. It means and. So if that's confusing, you can always write and as well. Comparing and ordering decimals. It's kind of just a time saver. Plus it looks kind of cool. <laughs> All right. So then we're going to go ahead and put a line right there. And let's make our essential question for the day. Our essential question is how can we tell which decimals have a greater or lesser value? So our essential question today is, how can we tell which decimals have a greater or a lesser value? So lesser is kind of like saying least, but not the very least, just less. <laughs> so once again, you know what we're going to do. We're going to knock this into two columns, column A on the left, column B on the right. So column A, column B, it's a two column note that you're working on here. All right. So how can we tell which decimals have a greater or lesser value? OK, so I kind of showed you a little bit about how to do that on our um, on our lesson today. So I'm going to give you some notes that will help you remember how we did that. All right. So the picture way, um, if the picture way works for you, I really I, I want you to use it. Um, but this is the way that I think is going to help you beyond fifth grade. So sometimes I'll teach you multiple ways, and there is one way that will um, help you no matter how large your numbers get. Um, and sometimes the pictures aren't the best way to do that. All right. So to compare and order decimals, all right, what we want to do, let's, uh, let's give ourselves a set of decimals to compare. So we're going to compare, compare and order So what we're going to do is we're going to compare and order these three numbers, 1 and 23 hundredths, 1 and 2 tenths, and 1 and 123 thousandths. All right. So we're going to look at those three numbers, and we're going to try and find a way to put them in order, all right, or compare them to find out which one is greater or lesser. So we'll do that when we come back. See you in the next video.